deep, shallow feet. I sound like a hockey puck, rest part, rest cop, type of word. Off the top, never fear, head of care, let your motion spill, crush and burn, never learn, set it be your turn. Man down low, turn it back, do it, let my name back, throw that vision like a contact. Click, clap, bat it, whack, and I'll get your bone. Yo, what is going on guys? It's the Sauce from the Fortnite Kingdom and today I'm bringing you guys a brand new video on how to fix the FPS drop slash stutters in Fortnite for PC. Now I did make this video about a week ago for PS4 and Xbox One and the video did amazing and I cannot thank you guys enough. As I'm recording this video right now, it has over 18,000 views which is just absolutely crazy for my channel and I cannot thank any of you guys enough for that support on the video. And I know you guys really appreciated that video so I wanted to bring a similar video for all the PC fans that I have. Now, these tips for PC are going to be a lot different than the tips that I provided for Xbox slash PS4 just because the console is so much different than computers and PCs. However, the similar problem of the FPS drop and the stutters appear on both console and PC so this video applies to both. However, this is going to be the PC part 2 of the how to fix Fortnite stutters and FPS drop. Anyways, before we get into all the tips, guys, make sure you use code KINGDOM in the Fortnite item shop, K-I-N-G-D-U-M-B, code KINGDOM. This code helps me out a ton. I don't think you guys understand how much this code actually helps me out, as I barely make any money off of YouTube, like literally nothing, barely like 10 bucks I think I've made off YouTube my whole entire time on YouTube, just because all my videos either get demonetized or they just don't get a lot of money. So the next time you guys wanted to put a code in for the Fortnite item shop, make sure you use code KINGDOM as it means so much to me. Whereas opposed to if you use code NINJA, yeah sure NINJA would get it, but NINJA's also like a millionaire and I am poor as hell. So use code KINGDOM in the Fortnite item shop, but enough begging from me. Let's get right into this video going into tip number one. So the first tip I have for you guys, you actually need to be on your PC to do this. And what you're going to want to do is go down to the bottom left of your computer into the search bar and type in advanced system setting. Once you find that, just click that and it should open up this little panel right here. Now, once you're here, all you want to do is hit the blue box right here that's highlighted that says setting. Once you're in settings, what you're going to want to do is go to the button that says adjust for best performance. And then what you're gonna wanna do is look through all of these options and select which ones are very important to you that you absolutely need and then keep everything that doesn't really matter to you off. Basically to sum it up, all these little tabs right here are pointless things that run in the Windows application that really don't do anything for your computer. They just add stuff to make things look nicer on the computer. So obviously if something that you can't live without, for example, is the shadow under the mouse pointer or something like that, and you absolutely need it in your program on Windows, that's completely fine, just keep that checked. However, it's best if you just honestly have all of these completely ticked off and yeah, that will make your computer run way faster. However, I understand some of you guys like some of these things. So just select what you absolutely need. Look through the whole list and then try and select, I would say maybe like three things max and try and keep everything else off. And this will increase your speeds by a ton. Once you're done picking out what you want, just hit apply and okay. And it will automatically set them to your window settings. For tip number two, now this is a very easy one, but is slightly annoying to perform. And what this is, is actually completely reinstalling Fortnite on your computer. Now you may be wondering, why would I want to reinstall Fortnite? Well, the reason is once Fortnite Chapter 2 got released to everyone, basically it completely rewrote a lot of the files from the original Fortnite. However, there is a few files that didn't get overwritten and are still in the Fortnite folders that are completely useless and just doing nothing and taking up space and making your Fortnite run a ton slower. What reinstalling will do is completely get rid of those files that are useless and making your Fortnite run slower and only having the files that are absolutely needed to run your game. Also, when you reinstall your Fortnite, I highly recommend that you guys install it to an SSD drive as it's going to load up your game so much faster and just make your game play way smoother. 
for tip number three. Now this isn't exactly a tip within your PC itself. However, this is a tip outside of your PC and I would highly recommend that everyone using a PC gets an ethernet cable to plug into their PC. If you're not using an ethernet cable, I'm telling you, you are at a disadvantage. This does not exactly ruin your FPS. This isn't something that's gonna screw around with your FPS. However, it does screw around with your connection to the game in a good sense. It will make your connection so much better. I'm telling you, go out and buy an ethernet cable. They're not expensive. They're around like 10 bucks each and they will make your life so much better. These rare stutters that you get could actually not even be within the game. They could just be because your connection is not that great. However, once you get an ethernet cable, you're gonna be directly plugged in to your Wi-Fi port and you're gonna be getting the best connection that you possibly can be getting. For tip number four, we're gonna be back on the PC and what you're gonna to wanna to do is go back down to that search bar in the bottom left corner and hit control panel. You're gonna to wanna to type that in and hit the button that says control panel. Then once you're there, you're gonna to wanna to go to the hardware and sound button. And then you're gonna to wanna to make sure that the balanced button is selected and not the power saver. If you have the power saver selected, it's going to screw up your PC's performance and make it run a lot slower. What this does is makes it so that your PC can save energy. However, who cares about energy? I doubt you're paying for the energy bill. So make sure you have it on balance so it's using the absolute best capability that your PC can handle. Now, all the next tips are actually gonna be inside the Fortnite game itself. So what you're gonna wanna go to is the settings in Fortnite and go to your frame rate limit. Now, if you have your frame rate limit at unlimited, you're gonna wanna change this. Basically, if you have it at unlimited, this is what's causing your FPS to stutter so much. What you're gonna wanna do is find out what your monitor's max FPS rate is and you're gonna wanna set it to that. So for an example, my monitor is 144 FPS, so I'm gonna set it at that so that's the max amount that it can go to. It can't go any higher than that and I never experienced any stuttering and I definitely think this is the reason why. Now we're gonna wanna go into all the quality settings and you're basically going to want to turn everything into the lowest setting possible except for the view distance which you want to have at epic. Now this depends on how good your PC is. If your PC is an absolute monster, yes, I would definitely recommend turning those low settings a bit higher to maybe medium or high. However, if you're running a very low end PC or maybe just like a thousand dollar budget build PC, I would 100% recommend turning those all the way to low and having view distance at epic as view distance is the only key thing that you absolutely need in these settings. With these settings, your game will run so much more smoother and you'll just have a better experience in general. Now for the last and final tip I have, it is actually turning off your your replay mode. Now I mentioned this tip in my other video as well. Your replay mode completely destroys your experience. There's a million other ways to record your gameplay and replay mode is definitely not the way. I'm telling you when you turn off all the replay settings you will feel the difference in your game. It will run just so much more smoother and you'll just enjoy it so much more. I'm telling you replay mode is really screwing with your game. Anyways, that's been all the tips for how to fix the FPS stutter slash bug in Fortnite Chapter 2. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like and use code KINGDOM in the Fortnite item shop as it does support me a ton and it helps me out more than you guys think. Anyways, it's been the sauce in the Fortnite Kingdom. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I hope you guys have a great rest of November or whenever you guys are watching this video. And just thank you so much for all the support I've been getting recently. It's absolutely crazy. October was the best month on YouTube that I've ever had. I've never gotten so many views, subs, and likes, and comments on all these videos. So it really does mean a lot. Anyways, I hope you guys have a blessed day. Peace. See ya. Later. Hump, hump, hump,